Good evening, everyone. It's pacified today. It's it's a nice hump day. It's hump day. October 2nd, 2024. Day 176. Con! Precious Con! Funny. Yeah, um, let's just say Lilia's been, um, late at night later for the past week. She's been doing not much more than watching, um, while she's been watching Black Butler all over again. So, I'm feeling sorry. I feel like it's time to mess with her. I end up always, um, just really annoyed so with my friends. I know friends who really hate when we do this, but why not? Anyway, uh, there's not a whole lot going on. Although I can say, unfortunately, but to help, uh, she had to stay home from school today. Because, um, uh, unfortunately, last night she got very, very sick. No? And when I say sick, she was very sick. It, it was either she got a case of salmonella poisoning from her school, what is, I, I think it's more just a minor case of, um, of neurovirus. Where, I, 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 th I think that what she has is she just got a little, like, just, you know, a stomach flu. So, um, she's she just recovering right now. She hasn't gotten too sick today. She's just been resting, drinking plenty of food. So I, I went out and I got her, um, I got her some coconut water to, to see if that would help with her stomach and, um, she, uh, she's having that and some saltines. Cause the, the saltines are, are, are good but nice and light on the, on the summit. So she's having that. Uh, so we got jealous though and said she wanted to have some, uh, some saltines as well. So of course I had to give her some saltines. We can't exactly say no, I'll have a screaming child and then a crying child. Or, um, the fact that there's a screaming child being selfish while someone's feeling not very, very sick. So it, it, it's been mildly stressful today. Not too bad, uh, but um, right now Tara and I are still um, doing an experiment with some vitamins right now. Where um, we looked at some of our physiological and you know, our physical symptoms uh, going on with our, our um, body and figured um, our symptoms were pointing toward a, uh, a vitamin D deficiency. So, and, and all of it is, we're still not getting enough sunlight, and of course our, our diet's been rather vitamin deficient. So, you know, what we're doing right now is we're, we're trying to get the vitamins up. And, uh, we saw, we started yesterday, and we immediately felt a, a difference later, well, not immediately, but we felt a difference later on in the day where our lethargy was much, much lower. Today was still lower than our lethargy has been for a while, actually. So, overall, they two are on this little uh, vitamin experiment to see whether or not it's in that our vitamins are low. Um, so far, is is pointing in, is in a positive direction. Uh, this has, so far, helped us. But it's too early to say, because... Well, it's only day two, so we're going to keep the experiment going, and, and, and of course everyone says keep the vitamins up, and apparently multivitamins do nothing but give us a tummy ache anyway. So it's ever not hard in there, but we're having D3 and B12. And there is that, and then I know tonight is going to be, it's just going to be not a, another simple meal for everyone, because uh, Butter, Buttercup, she's, she's not ready to have any like full on like meals right now. It's there's so much to knock out for it. So she's going to be having lots of coconut water and water. And she's going to have the saltine crackers. Because well, that's what she wanted. Um uh, for myself, Lilia and Sweet Pea will probably be just going to have leftovers, but oh, I don't mind the leftovers. They 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 are tacos. As uh Terra made Terra made the um, Taco Bell style chili pears last night. But of course, he, he used the Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream. It's really unfortunate that we forgot to get the dark some of those green chilies. We forgot to get those, so we didn't get to have those. Oh well, can't complain too hard, right? Anyway, there isn't much else to talk about. I'm just trying to get through the day and make sure Buttercup will be well enough to either go back to school either tomorrow or Friday. 
Unfortunately, though, she if she only goes back on Friday, that means she only has a half day on Friday because the doctor's appointment's coming up. When they've got doctor's appointments next week, so we'll have to figure that one out. Hopefully, it's not too complicating, but you know, what what what? what this, this is how it goes: just living, living, and oh uh, well. Children get sick. And what, what we need to get is that her school did send a lot of students home uh, last week. I don't know about yesterday. I have to inquire with the school, like maybe tomorrow, that I know on Friday last week there were a lot of students who were sent home um, with neurovirus uh, symptoms. So, I'd say there's a good really likelihood she found it too. And I don't know if she got it from the school. Or, her, or uh, her friend's house over by her uh, grandparents. Because uh, she went and played with them yesterday before coming home. And then it was... Um, she started feeling sick once she got in the car to come home. And that's when she got really sick. And then she got really, really sick. It was, it was bad. It, like She didn't get to have a night rest until about... Zero four in the morning. So it was a very, very long night. Oh, I, I feel very bad for her. And of course, as soon as I sh oh, well, let's, let's do topics very quickly. When I tried to, when I started setting up to do VR, because I am late, at the time of recording, it's 6.19pm, so I apologize. It's, uh, you know, it's 1800 hours. It's my fault that I'm so late. But, what can you do? Uh, of course, as soon as I was setting up that cat that keeps getting into our house, sorry, me meowing at this door. You're not allowed in this in this bedroom. We are allergic to you, so we try to get the dander out of this bedroom. So we're around it as little as feasibly possible. Although saying as uh, as feasibly possible would would in fact mean not at all, but. The children aren't exactly the best at listening about keeping the cat out and the cat cries. His very hardest to get into this house as soon as he hears the door open. I've seen him trying to get into the neighbor's house. He tried to get into there and as soon as he saw us coming to our front door, he immediately charged full speed off of there, down to the fence, came to our front door and dodged it inside. So that cat is very determined to be in everyone's home. Everyone's. Well, not everyone's, but I've seen it in five houses. Why? And all you have to go to the most isn't even his house. It's ours. Our home. He just lounges about and waits. He'll even wait on other people's yards. He'll, he'll wait on other people's yards for us to come home. Or to even open our doors, like say if we're checking the mail or something, and then he'll just charge as fast as he can to get into our home. And sometimes he's successful at lead me talking abstractly when I'm trying to get him out of the house. He doesn't do that to me, but he needs to spread uh, both butter cup and sweet pea when trying to deal with him. So there is that, but you know, cats are more willing to do that. The children than adults, I don't. Maybe because they're smaller. I don't know. Anyway, I can't get the city longer because, right, well, again, it's 6 21 pm or 18 21. So I need to get going. I need to start prepping for supper for Sweet Pea Lily and myself. Right, we are in our buttercups having a saltines right now. I, I, I walk up. And by the way, I will say I am very frustrated right now because. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get any medicine for buttercup today. Because of that whole Bank of America thing. Like, no one can... I'll have to bet and see if it's still down, but it's been down. It was down for a good six hours last I checked. Where, like, starting noon, I think, our time. Where it's like, no one can ch no one can check the bank accounts all reading zeros. Thanks, Bank of America. You put a problem today. And I'm not thrilled about it at all. Please do better. Uh, we, we, we very much appreciate it. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed their hump day. I know it's still October 2nd, and you think about it, we have less than 25 days to get to day 300. And then, and then add another... Um, so if we got 25 days from there, and then another, what, 65, 66 days 
from there to the end of the year. But we want to do something special for um, day 300. We're thinking about what we'll do. And while we're not going to tell you, if we, uh, like, if we must do anything, we're not going to tell you until it comes up on day 300. And remember, that's 24 days out. I hope everyone looks forward to it. We're really looking forward to making it to day 300 as well, because that is a major milestone. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade. I hope everyone's enjoyed their, their hump day. I went over overall of it anyway. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we will see you all tomorrow. Again, pardon me for being silly. We'll see you all tomorrow on Thursday. So long, everyone. I did this because Lily was being a ninny.